of my head. I've never seen killers. reach out so directly before damn impressive work so far with your technique these hunches were moving fast i wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home but i'm thrilled to be here for this mystery Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Rest easy, buddy. Ten remaining.
can't force it open. It won't open. Welcome back, Anderson. See you around. Any interesting guests later? I'll be back in a second. Good Roger. Zilch, but someone left to grow a surprise under their bed for housekeeping? They were nuts. So, that's what all that screaming was about? Either when you that, guys said nothing or the couple on their honeymoon. Town. You weren't kidding. Not on the surface, at least. Or in the public eye. Okay, I'm gonna get back to that one later for sure. have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> How much have you had? Not enough. Man, it is sweating in these suits. Isn't it? Charlene? I need something to cut this. You don't think the amount of hot caffeinated beverages you downed has anything to do with it? Oh, dear. Horn, but I am pretty darn sure yeah. my... <laughs> Good afternoon. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. City clean, if not I. Who else to protect its citizens from the dangers? Hey! Did you get lost? 
lost Anderson. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Calder Lake was fast off. You better guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. I feel bad for these guys. Bookers? I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just saw guys fine, Ed. We'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Open this with my bare hands. What? Right. Doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. So, what did you see in the woods? You? He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. The dawn is a thing around here. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, 
And then we found her. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Of course, we're at Cauldron Lake. Why? The fence was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's happening. You need to hand it over. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um. I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. Hello. If you say so. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. Murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? Played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was out. Always my morning, favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff.
Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was Rose all very weird. Rose has talent saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. The corpse is downstairs ready to go. In the morgue. I'll I'd like friend. to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket whenever you're ready to take my money. <laughs> I can't get through this. They locked up an innocent man. I swear I didn't do anything. They're a lying bunch of bastards. You believe me, right? Have a nice day. Agent? Somebody call for a tour guide. That's right. I'm Il Mokoskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. We have bolt cutters. Oh. And we'll take you anywhere. National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. A tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. So we share our own corner with rotates stores, between so a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle I'm this. qualified I guess to perform examinations. No. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking.
Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Can't be opened on this side. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Love to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. I need to know more about the cold of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Doesn't make sense.
same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. No, 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 wait! My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're gonna do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery.
There's one of the pages on the floor. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. be opened on this side. I can't get through this. dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale. Was, but wasn't a taken. A creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach. Where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place and the dark place. A tarp thrown over top. Drowning everything beneath it. A flood of darkness. Soaking into everything. Spoiling it. Rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. That concludes our debate. This is Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. 
monsters aren't real and How you doing? Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Sound repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. So what's good here? Any nice restaurants? I'm a bit of a foodie. Well, uh, the restaurants and shops in town are closed. Hello?